Now, when you found out about his death, yeah, which nobody saw coming, that just came out of nowhere, and he was yep. fairly young. What was he in his fifties? I guess. Yep. Yep. How badly did that hit you, man? It, 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 hey man, that 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 hurt you, man. It, it really did, man. Because you know it was it was from nowhere, man. It's just you know, and I wasn't able to go to the funeral, man, because I was in Dallas doing something, and um, you know, it was it was like you know you feel like you you, you didn't have a you didn't have a chance to say you know bye to to a friend, you know what I mean? So. Yeah, it was it was it was kind of hurtful, man. Well, you had said that you felt like they worked him to death because yeah. he was doing uh, Ocean's believe, Eleven at the time. I believe so, man, because you know he told us that, man. He told us that um, he was doing so much, and um, you know when when um, um, what's the actor that was in Ocean's? What's his name? Uh, Brad Pitt. Yeah, Brad Pitt broke his ankle. And they had to move production back, and it it cut into his time that he was supposed to when he was doing, I think it was uh, guess who, and um, so he had to rush and try to you know do a lot of stuff, and you know he felt that they didn't understand that it wasn't his fault that you know Brad <laughs> broke his ankle, you know what I'm saying, and he was telling us man that you know he had to. It was just a situation, man. He, you know, they put him in a, you know, compromising position that he really didn't want to be in. And so, you know. So you think that all the work that Ocean's Eleven oh, threw man. on him? Not only that, but you know, I mean, the promotions and you know the the movies, you know, the Guess Who, Oceans, and all that back to back to back. And you know, he had the sarcoidosis with the with the lungs, man. And um, you know, he was in the hospital. Before that, and um, um, <laughs> he made a joke about that man because he said he was like, Man, he said, Reds, man, I feel like I was on my deathbed, man. He said, Brothers ain't right, man. They coming in there taking pictures, man, of me, man, on my deathbed. Tell me, prop him up, prop him up, man. Let me take a picture. <laughs> so, so you know, you know, Bernie. <laughs> Oh, that that's kind of cat he was, man. He say, man, they ain't right, man. He was like talking, about, prop him up, man. He all right, prop him up. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> and he was sick then, and you know he had to be was on the steroids. So you in episodes you seen the way he was like his face was swollen because of the prednisone and stuff that he was on, man. And um, you know we used to do a scene, and he had a dressing room upstairs and had a dressing room on the set, you know. Uh, so he used to do the scene and go and have to take oxygen, man, you know, get oxygen and then come back and do the scene again, you know? So yeah, he, he, he I mean, he was, that's, that's basically working while you sick, you know what I'm saying? While you sick, you still working. Yeah, man. I mean, that's Hollywood for you sometimes because yeah. there's so few, there's so few slots. Yeah. 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 You know, especially in starring roles and, and, and being at that level. Right. Right. Like, for example, like Lavelle Crawford. Right, right, I, I right. I interviewed him before, and, you know, he felt like... Well, you've said that the industry sets it up for only one black comedian at a time. Yeah. It's, Explain. It's proven fact. Think about it. Okay. You know me as a comedian, okay? okay. America, semi, semi know me as a stand-up comedian. It's a lot of... I got a lot of fans, but... As the comedian, like, okay, look, giant Louis C.K., uh, I'm just going to do it like the Jim Gaffigan, uh, who else out there? Even Dave Attell. I mean, I'm just giving out random names. Uh, these comedians, like Marie Banford, they they are they're, they can come through the ranks and be be known as stand up and be respected as stand up. Where, like me, I've been doing it twenty some out of years, and now I'm I'm newer 
to to the mainstream audience. Even though I did last comic standing, people know me for that, but they don't have to know me. But like, look, look at like the comics that make it one at a time. Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, they think he's the only comedian in the world right now, for real. Cause I mean, he's not. Even if he helps out, they oh Kevin Hart, oh he's the greatest. Of, no, he's not. He's good. I love Kev. You know, you don't see a whole bunch of them running things yeah. at any given time. Like right you, now, it's Kevin Hart. Yeah, you you never see a whole. You never see a handful of big, you know, comedic black actors yeah. at one time. You have either have Eddie or you have Chris, you know Chris Tucker or you have Kevin Hart. You know, it's like that, man. You never see. You know, all of them together, like all of them big together. One get big, the other one kind of go down. You know, the other one get big, the other one kind of go down. So that's the way Hollywood is, man. Yeah, man. And it's just, yeah, I mean, it just seems with the Bernie Mac situation, yeah, he's he's sick. Yep. He's on heavy medication. But you still got to work. And he's still... He's still working these multiple jobs at the same time, knowing that he should just say, no, I'm not going to do it. Like, yep. my health is more important. But yep. Yep. he no. knows that if he does that, then it's like, oh, okay, oh, he's difficult to work with. We need to just blacklist him and go find someone else. So. I know, I know. And, and see, that's, that's, that's the way it is, man. It's like Hollywood. It's like the show must go on, right? Regardless of, of how you feel, brother, especially if you're black. If you're black in Hollywood, let me tell you something. You could be dragging your ass across the across the rug, you know. Just make sure after you drag it across there, man, wipe it up. But come on, do this work. <laughs> you know that's the way it is. It out here, man. It's you know. But but like if you say you know if you're a Brad Pitt and break your ankle, hey, they 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 make a way for you. You know they they they'll you know push pro you know production back and cut in the other people's stuff. So that's just the yeah. way it goes, man. Yeah, man, I, I never heard that before until, you know, I started researching, right. you know, your background and, uh, you know, to to just hear that Bernie is essentially just worked himself to death. Yeah. Yeah. As opposed to just, you know, yeah. I believe, I believe, man, you know, you know, he probably could have still been here, man, if, 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 you know, he could have slowed down, you know, if he was, if he was allowed you know, I would say if he was allowed to slow down, maybe he wasn't allowed to slow down. Yeah, man. You know, I interviewed Deal Hughley on a regular basis. Me and him. Yeah, I saw. Yeah. You know, you know, me and him talk all the time. You know, he's one of the kings of comedy as right. well. And I know that that was a that was a major loss for him as well. Yeah, yeah, man. It had been a couple of weeks earlier. We gotten the same a similar call. Um, uh, where they talked about how Bernie was gone, we called, and of course it had it wasn't true. So I was on this really tough run. I was had these all these dates, and I said, "What I'll do is I know he's sick, so I'll play this run, and then I'll go mm. see my friend. Like he'll be all right. I'll play this run, and then I, of course, I was on the run, and then I got the call while I was in Vegas, uh, and he was in fact dead." And one of the first things people say is, he knew you loved him. And I'm like, that's not really, how do you know that that's true if I didn't tell him? Yeah, man, very, very, very sad. And like I said, you know, you're, I never knew him at all. And you guys seem like you guys yeah, were close. Yeah, man, you, so you would have loved, you would have learned, you would have loved Bernie. Bernie would have had you in here crying, laughing, man. 